On today's video, do you guys use hole covers when you're out ice fishing with tip-ups? Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And you know, like I said earlier, do you guys ever use hole covers when you're out ice fishing with tip-ups? All right, now let me explain what this is to some of you guys out there that aren't too familiar with them. So you're out ice fishing, the temperatures are below freezing, you got your tip-ups out in the different holes, well, your tip-ups are freezing into the holes, right? You're getting a layer of ice on, on the water in the hole, and your tip-ups getting froze in. And I know a lot of you guys have experienced this, right? Flag goes up, you go over to the tip-up, and you got this crust of ice on top. You know, and sometimes it can get quite thick if it's pretty cold out, and it's like, oh, you want to be kind of delicate as you're pulling that tip-up out, and you, you know, you want to make sure and, and feed that fish line so it doesn't feel any resistance, and now you got to deal with this crust of ice. So you're taking the, you know, one end of your skimmer and maybe trying to chop it out, Maybe you're just kind of kicking it with the heel of your boot, trying to open it up. And, you, you know, you might have a 10-pound walleye 15 feet below you, and it's hearing all this commotion and spits the hook, and it's just gone, right? That's where these tip-up hole covers come into play, okay? They just kind of slide around the shaft of your tip-up. You know, this particular style, that's what they do. They kind of slide around the shaft. Uh, this particular style works with these rail styles or even those cross-style tip-ups. Now when you take this tip up and set it down in your hole, you have this nice insulating barrier that keeps those cold air temperatures off of the water in your hole. Okay, And you might be saying like, well that, that water is cold and there's ice around it and stuff. But remember, that water is above freezing, right? Otherwise it would be ice. So if the air temperatures are below freezing, it really helps to have this barrier in between that air and the water in your hole really helps to keep the holes from freezing up. And they especially work great when it's the wind chill, which is driving the temperatures, right? If it's really windy out, you know, you got this nice barrier there, the wind's not getting to that water in your hole, and especially if it's blowing snow into your hole, okay? These really work great for that. Really keeps a lot of that snow from getting into the hole if the wind's blowing it around. And these really help out a lot from keeping your holes from freezing up. Now, I know some of you guys are saying, hey, I don't use hole covers, but I do use these hole covering tip-ups, right? Um, this one's, you know, says igloo on it. And, and these do work pretty good. You know, as you can see, the frame or the base of the tip-up actually covers the hole. So there really isn't a need for a hole cover, all right? Uh, in fact, like I say, this says igloo on here, and it actually has like a raised plastic igloo, you know, I think to kind of symbolize like a, an igloo over your hole to keep it from freezing. And then it actually shows this kind of this raised, uh, you know, raised plastic fish on here, and it actually shows the fish with like flames coming off of it. I, I'm really not sure what that's all about, but uh, I, I guess the message is that... Uh, this hole covering tip up, you know, keeps keeps the hole nice and warm, I guess. Now, me personally, I do prefer to actually use the separate hole covers. One of the reasons I like to use these separate hole covers as opposed to these hole covering tip ups is it does allow me to use these rail style tip ups, okay? Um, I have several of them already, so I, I certainly want to utilize them. But really, on top of that, even, I really like the flexibility 
that these rail style tip ups give you with your trip settings. Okay, you know, I don't know if a lot of you guys realize this, but there is a lot of different ways to adjust the trip settings on many of these rail style tip ups. This lock screw right here allows you to raise or lower this whole shaft, okay? And, and the higher or lower that shaft goes, it really has an effect on how much pressure it takes to trip the flag, okay? You know, the further down, generally speaking, the further down that this uh, shaft goes, the more bent over the flag has to be and it's a stronger trip setting, okay? I know a lot of you guys realize that you have the stronger or the lighter setting on either side of this post, okay? But actually raising the shaft up and down actually can help you to adjust your trip setting too, right? Because you want to get that trip setting just strong enough, so like if you're using minnows, so the minnow's not tripping you off, you know? But you want it just light enough, so when a fish takes it, it really doesn't feel much resistance. So I do like the adjustability of this particular style of rail tip-ups. So if I also want to have the convenience of a hole cover, I wind up using this separate hole cover, okay? This tip-up right here doesn't have nearly the adjustability with the trip settings, all right? Now, I do know that they do make some hole covering tip-ups that do have that adjustability. They are out there. Another kind of handy reason, you know, to use these separate hole covers is, you know, you get a flag and you go over to the tip-up, you know, you gently pull it out of the water, try not to spook the fish or let the fish feel anything. You can pull this hole cover off and this one, this particular style, actually works as a really nice kneeler then. You throw it down on the ice, kneel on it, it's kind of handy for that. And then another reason that I really like these separate hole covers for tip-up fishing is I like to use wind tip-ups a lot, okay? And the style of wind tip-up that I use, you really cannot have the holes freeze up, okay? Because the line comes right out of the water and then goes to the spool, all right? The spool is not submerged out in the water to keep it from freezing. So you really cannot have those holes freezing up, okay? Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with wind tip-ups, the idea is you kind of use the power of the wind to kind of jig your bait, all right? Well, as soon as that hole freezes up when you're using a wind tip up, you don't have any more jigging capabilities. That line is locked into that hole and, you know, the tip up on the surface doing all kinds of jigging isn't doing anything. Another uh, really critical thing about freezing holes with wind tip ups is now when a fish takes it, they don't have a free spool, okay? So it's very important, you know, that you cannot have the holes freezing up when you're using wind tip ups. Okay, this is probably a good spot for a quick time out from my one and only sponsor, Camaro's Crawlers. The owner of Camaro's Crawlers, Ronnie Camaro, good friend of mine from high school. He runs a little bait shop out of his parents' house where he lives. We have a little sponsorship agreement. Um, I did this one ad for him. I told him that uh, I'd run it with most of my uh, ice fishing type videos this winter. And this particular ad really fits in good with the uh, subject matter in this video. And now, a very important announcement from Camaro's Crawlers. Attention ice fishermen, come on down to Camaro's Crawlers for all your ice fishing bait needs. My friend, Ronnie Camaro, the owner of Camaro's Crawlers, has a full line of minnows for the ice fishermen. He has shiners, he has suckers, he has fatheads, and in a Camaro's Crawlers exclusive, he has the mystery minnow tank. Okay, and for five bucks you get a net this size and for five bucks you just take one scoop in there and whatever you get, you get. Okay, the mystery minnow tank is the tank where Ronnie's pro staffer mom, you know, uh, Ronnie's mom works at the bait shop. Um, the mystery minnow tank is the tank that Ronnie's pro staffer mom didn't have time to sort through. So there's just kind of a variety of minnows in that particular tank. So for five bucks you get one scoop in the mystery minnow tank and whatever you get, you get. And, and, you know, this net, it's pretty big. You know, for five bucks, that's a good amount of minnows. But you don't know what you're going to get. You might get a bunch of perch-sized minnows. You might get a bunch of big suckers for pike. You might get a combination of the two. You might get a bunch of dead bait. Who knows? It's the mystery minnow tank. Camaro's Crawlers also carries all your bugs and grubs for your panfish and your trout. 
Ronnie has waxworms, mousies, spikes, maggots, wigglers, snails, termites, roaches, ringworm, and wood ticks. Ronnie's also running a special for Kinetter's Practical Outdoor viewers only. If you go down to Camaro's Crawlers and spend over $10, Ronnie will throw in a free Camaro's Crawlers tip-up hole cover, right? You guys have seen these before, right? Kind of put them around your tip-up like this. Then when you set your tip-up down in the hole, this nice cover keeps the hole from freezing up, right? Mm -hmm. And I know Ronnie put in a real big order to get a bunch of these, so he's not going to run out anytime soon. And I, I think by a big order, I just mean, you know, he gave his uh, pro staffer mom some cardboard and some scissors and had her cut these out. But I know, like, uh, Ronnie's girlfriend, uh, she did the graphics for these. You know, they're pretty cool. And, and they're all hand done, so they're all kind of unique. You know, they're kind of like collector's items. I don't know, I, I think this one uh, came from a pizza box. But anyways, head on down to Camaro's Crawlers for all your ice fishing bait needs. And if you spend over $10, you're going to get yourself a free Camaro's Crawlers tip-up hole cover. Okay, very good. Now, these hole covers come in a lot of styles and types, right? And as you can see, you know, I have a, this store-bought uh, hole cover. And like you saw from the ad, you can just use a piece of cardboard, all right? I've seen guys out on the ice using, like, you know, pieces of that pink foam insulation. They just cut it out and use those as a hole cover. And they all work pretty good, you know. I'm sure they all work pretty good. Now, some of you may think that this is kind of a hat that Packer fans wear, all right? But it is not. This is a tip-up hole cover too, all right? This one is a little bit different. It kind of goes on top of the tip-up, all right? And this rail-style tip-up like this fits right in there just perfect, all right? And you set this down on the hole like that, and you got this nice, thick, foam piece of cheese keeping your hole from freezing up, okay? And they do work pretty good, at least up here in Michigan's Upper Peninsula where I live. These really do work good. And I guess down in Wisconsin, of course, they work great, you know. A lot of guys in Wisconsin will use this style, and they've had really good luck with it. But I have heard reports that uh, if you try to use these over in Minnesota, um, there's something about the ice conditions in Minnesota. I, I'm hearing different stories from people that, you know, if you take one of these, you go out on a lake in Minnesota and you put it down, um, a lot of times what happens is uh, any kind of passerby snowmobiles or ATVs will run these over. It must be something about the ice conditions in Minnesota you know, uh, these cheese heads must just kind of blend in with the ice conditions in Minnesota, you know, almost like camouflage, you know, because I guess why else would these uh, ATVs and snowmobiles be accidentally running these cheese heads over? You know, another aspect of using a hole cover when you're tip-up fishing, and, you know, I know a lot of guys kind of believe in this, and, and maybe I do too, is it's not so much about keeping the hole from freezing up, it's about keeping the light from penetrating down through the hole, okay? And, and I think if it does affect anything, it's more when you're fishing in shallow water. You know, if you can kind of imagine if you're below the ice, it's pretty dark down there. And now if you plunk a hole through the ice, you know, if it's a sunny day out, there's a lot of light coming through that hole. You know, it, it might even be like a flashlight shining down on your bait hanging below that tip up, you know? And maybe certain fish that are in a certain type of mood might shy away from that a little bit. You know, I mean, I, I can't tell you that for sure. I do know other fishermen that, that kind of have a little faith in that theory. And like I say, maybe I do too. So, you know, maybe even just blocking out the light with these hole covers, you know, might help you get bit a few more times. Well, all right, guys. Well, there's a few thoughts on using hole covers when you're out tip-up fishing, all right? If you haven't used these before and you've experienced some of these, uh, you know, tip-ups freezing in the hole issues, okay? You might want to go and pick yourself up a few of these, all right? Maybe this style, maybe the cheese head style, you know, if you don't live in Minnesota. Um, maybe you just want to make one out of a piece of cardboard. 
uh, piece of insulation. Maybe you want to head down to Camaro's Crawlers and get yourself a free one. I don't know. But they really do work pretty good. It's really convenient not to deal with uh, your tip-ups freezing in the holes. Okay, and of course, you know, if you use uh, the style of wind tip-ups that I like to use, it's almost mandatory not to have those holes freeze up, okay? Because as soon as those holes freeze up, the wind tip-ups are kind of useless. If you're interested in more information on tip-ups, I left a link in the description below to my tip-up playlist. Feel free to check that out. Well, anyways, guys, hey, remember to hunt fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching, and God bless.